Hello and welcome to the video for third grade for Tuesday, April the 28th. This is going to cover our second lesson, Working with Area. And so today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Um, and I think this will help us kind of understand what we're looking at. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Unlock the Problem. We are working um, with square inches. Now, in a perfect world, I could go ahead and re-represent those. Um, what I'm going to do for the purposes of the video is to actually fill in spots in green. So we are going to pretend that this is one of my green boxes. Here's another one. Here's another one. And then here's another one. And that all of this space inside here is filled up. So when we are working with using blocks to find area, we have to make sure that there are no gaps between the block, uh, blocks and that there can't be any overlaps. So if we have a situation where we have a box here and then another box here, but it's taking up part of the space of the other one, we can't actually use those blocks to figure out what the area is. We would have to do something slightly different. So um, do we have any gaps? Yes, we have two big rectangular gaps in here. Um, are there any overlaps? No, there are not. We do not have a spot, a situation where one of these would be taking up the space of another one. They're touching, um, but that is not an overlap. Um, Jamie says the area is four square inches. Is that correct? No, because there's an additional amount of space that is not accounted for. All right, so let's take a look at part B now. So for part B, we have eight rectangles, kind of. Um, and so these two are the size of our normal blocks. So we'll go ahead and fill those in. And then I've got two spots here that kind of match this. And then we've got something different going on here. So um, let's go ahead and say that these were the same size. I don't think that they actually are of uh, the ones over here. And let's take a look at what we've got. So if I made um, just six of these and they were all this size, I would still have a spot that I need to put two more in, but I don't have enough room to put two more in. So even if all of these were equal, if I make this last one, it's going to be filling up either part of the space that this one would take up or part of the space that this one would take up to get one that is this size. So are there gaps? No. We could potentially fill up the entire shape using eight um, square blocks. However, we would have overlaps. And that means the eight would not be the measurement uh, for that because um, we don't have a situation where we don't have gaps or overlaps. So the last one we have six and it looks like that all six of these are the same size. Um, would there be any gaps if I did this? Um, let's actually go back to our green one real quick. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. And so each of these would fill up the entire amount of the space. There would be no gaps in the shape. There would also be no overlaps, which means six square inches or six square units, if we were using something other than inches, would be the correct measurement. And so our area, since we are working with square inches, would be six square inches. So number one, um, on Sharon's show, we can use our multiplication facts to help us, or we can just count each individual block. So I have two rows of five, and so that would give me 10. And it asks a couple questions. Are there any gaps? Well, no, there are not any gaps, and there are not any overlaps. Um, so we could use our multiplication fact to help us in that case. Uh, number two, we could do the same thing. And that would give us 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. For this one, do we have gaps? Well, yeah, we do. We have a gap here and we have a gap here. So we can't do 3 times 4 to figure out the answer. So we have to count each individual block. And that would give us 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Um, now we just have much larger blocks. We do have gaps here, so we can't do three times three to find the area. So we just need to count the block. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are ready for the homework. So um, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I will go ahead and start recording the homework video for you guys. So I uh, hope you have a great day. The homework video will come out on Wednesday and uh, that will be the only thing that happens on Wednesday other than the conference call. Um, so if you want to come visit during office hours, please do so. Otherwise, you can just send me a message and know what you're doing for math reviews. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.